Hi guys, today we are talking about equivalent fractions and fractions to decimals. So if we're going to start, by the way, this guy here is going to be equal to one whole. So if this is one whole, then these guys are going to be your tenths because ten of them make up a whole. And these guys are going to be your hundredths because one hundred of these make up the whole. So we've got whole, tenths, hundredths. We're not going to have anything here that represents our thousandths because we don't have anything that small. So if we've got our decimal here, which we said these are our tenths, so I've got one, two, three, four tenths, zero whole and four tenths. There is our decimal. To make that a fraction, we're going to listen to the name. We said it's zero and four tenths. So we know tenths is going to be our denominator, and four, the number we have, is going to be our numerator. So zero and four tenths four tenths. Those are equivalent. Yesterday we talked about equivalent fractions and what you could do here to find more equivalent fractions would be just to skip count using your multiples. 4, 8, 12, 16 for the numerator and the denominator. 10, 20, 30, 40. Or you could do 4 tenths is equal to, pick whatever you want to do, how many thirtieths? 10 times 3, 4 times 3 equals 12. They're the same, okay? But today we're really just talking about how to make um, decimals into fractions. Should have picked up an eraser. We'll look at one more. If we've got this as our decimal, we said these are our tenths. We've got 1, 2 tenths, 0 and 2 tenths, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hundredths. So as a decimal, it says zero and twenty-five hundredths. We can hear the sound of the denominator. Twenty-five hundredths. Hundredths is our denominator, and twenty-five is our numerator. That's how you change decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.